Well, good morning and happy Monday. I hope everyone had a wonderful Mother's Day. We're starting off with a bike. I think this might actually be aluminum because it's a track. An old track, but still a track. We're uh, out on Kevin's stomp on the grounds. He let us into the gated community we've been in once. Kev's off for the week. So he said, I'm leaving it to you. Have fun with it. <laughs> so we shouldn't have problems stuffing it today, I hope. But uh, let's see what happens. Let's get after it. Here we go. A Weber. With a nice light, too. Look at this fancy light on that. How many wheels you got? I think you got four. Maybe that's why you're out here. <laughs> uh -oh. Yeah, we're gonna use the gate because we're gonna try to keep this semi-schmorganized today. We're still hoping today's gonna crush it. Although, it's looking pretty, uh, pretty thin in here so far today, but you know how quickly that can change. Come on up in the turn. Come on all the way up. I feel like there's two wheels that are locked and two wheels that aren't locked. Two front wheels I think are locked. Come on, bike. Let's go. I'll tell ya. Oof, what is this one heel? Attachments? Okay. It's like, that's shady. There's a bag on those vacuum. It's just the attachments. All right, let's find some more stuffs ourselves a nice gathering of chairs. We've been finding a lot of these bar stools lately, haven't we? This one's actually not in horrible shape. Whoosh. What do you think? She's gonna be steel all the way through, dang it. It was the kind that could have been aluminum on the top. No such luck today. Ah, we got her, kids. Oh, we got a tire with a tire off, or most a tire off at least. We can take you. Looky, looky, Americanos. You taking apart. Ah, Marco Evo. Oh gosh, I stepped on the wire. <sighs> That's a stanky Marco Evo. Full of grace. Ooh, there's a happy kid in that house. Yeah, that bloody murder. Is that a fishing pole? Nope. All right. That should do her. Some more of them bar stools, just a different color. Ooh, we got a wine rack. We got some electronics. All kinds of stuff here. Here, just looks like stereo stuff. You get up there. Uh, we better put the one of these wires are still connected. We'll put you up that way then. Don't forget that stuff, guys. What's that? Kelton Sulfur. Kelton, any good, guys? This is like wine, wine racks.
think. Peller. What we got here? Blu-ray. I don't know. We looking these ones up, guys. Oh, those are those are not what I was looking for. We got no power for you, so we're not gonna look you up. Just gonna add you to the pile. I know, I'll probably regret that later. Remote controls I like. Remote controls are always viable. I don't know why, but they are. Nope. 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 You guys are mentals. A couple more big speakers. Projection theater. I think it is. Yeah. Big, big screen of some sort. Let's go right here. move on. We often skip these, but I'm just going to take it today. If we need to empty, we'll empty. It's missing this bottom base too, which makes things a whole lot easier. Whew, almost didn't clear that. Still enough room for a washing machine. Let's go. All right. I think we won't take it all. That screen doesn't weigh much, and I don't feel like leaving just one little bit behind for these people. Put exerciser up here. Bike number one, Captain Huffy. Number two, a girl power by Ozone. We're gonna take you just because we're nice and we're gonna leave their yard nice and clean. Let's go. Come on, baby, be the real deal. Oh, she is, I think. Come on, come on, come on, be it. Got a wood desk up there, not in great shape, so that's not for. Jeffy, it is deliciousness. A poo eater. Yeehaw. A poo eater. I love a poo eater. That's some place between 50 and 750 pounds of copper. Okay. 15. Everybody thinks there's 50 in here. There's not. But there's 15, which is nothing to shake a stick at. With our goal being about a 
hunter today. That's almost half of it. Right there. Right there, kids. Once it's broken out, that is. Might have to go to a non ferris Friday run, though. Gosh, you guys get in here. Onward. This neighborhood's shaping right up, man. Starting off slow as usual. And we got ourselves a pool heater. Now we got ourselves a stove. It's not of the regular variety, it's a built-in, but she's still, oh my gosh, you are connected, all, all of you is connected. Stainless. Yeah, or aluminum, one of the two. I'm gonna put you towards the front. Probably stainless, right? Yeah, I think so. Don't want to give away the good stuff. Look at all them wires in there. Ourselves a faux wicker chow. Please don't be full of junk. You can't come to the yard. Sorry, guys. She's not gonna test, but she's gonna come. Look at how fat this thing is. Oh yeah! Oh, what year, what year, what year? Put your guesses in, guys. Oh gosh, I still can't find it. There you go, 2006. So what is that? That's almost, it's almost 20 years old. Oh, Cap, I might have to come in here every week, buddy. <laughs> nice bits in here. We did good here the one time when you came in, but it's like everything, I think. Cap does really well in here sometimes. He really sucks eggs sometimes, too. ourselves our second dismantled basketball hoop. People in this neighborhood rock, man. They know how to do this and make my life a whole lot easier. Thank you, kind people, for making it so much more pleasant to take a basketball hoop. Friends, come back. Ah. 
top it off, there's a twofer over here. We got a pressure washer and a scooter. Thank you guys. Welcome to the party. All right, let's continue on. Mid-April, still getting Christmas. <laughs> Got ourselves a deer. Put a bunch of lights on them too. We'll go right here in the basketball hoop for now. We'll strap you down before we leave. We're almost done through here, guys. And then it's gonna be rolling over to our regular stomping grounds. Oh well, I guess we're getting those straps earlier than we thought. Because look at these guys, these are not aluminum. But these are full on steel. Top and all. Another one? Yes, sir. And this is a big one, too. Wow. You jumbo. Where are we going with you, bro? <sighs> Up top, one more strap, right? Yep. Sounds like a plan to me. <clears throat> Let's go. Oh, by the way, hey, microwave. All right, guys. Oops. Better get our clippers. We're gonna do a quick unload. This may or may not make the cut. It all depends on how long we go today. Now let's take these ones. These ones are big. Old. Good on, Brad. I'm gonna pop this one in the area, so move this off.
On the road just in time for a stomping party. Ah, that's an elbow, that's an elbow. Ruster stompers. Kept the bike, got the what's it called? The copper out of the heater. Looks like there was a dish here at some point. I don't know why they would take the dish and not this stuff, but It was fun, wasn't it? <laughs> Might have been a gutter bracket. Oh no, that looks like a dish bracket. All right, carry on. All right, now we're making up for our lack of non-ferrous this morning. Look at this stuff, man. Yeah, that's like a hydro flask, $30 cup. People throw $30 cups out, what? Those are plastic plates, I don't have those plastic plates. Oh, we got shoes. Busted shoes. Pillows, no thank you. What kind of belt do we got here? Polo! Take a polo belt. Billy bong. I'll take a billy bong belt. That's interesting. All right, what else do we have here? We have a little car charger. I won't keep you guys in because I saw something up here that could be amazing. Could be a pallet of despair too. But I think that box is up there very well could be a pallet of motors come on cross your fingers it can be it it can do it it can be it yes no maybe yeah i know we have a motor i'm hoping we have like six motors though what we got what we got uh -huh. Uh -huh. oh they're filters oh you stinkers We'll take two motors though. We'll take a couple of motors. Not quite, not quite a pallet of motors, but still better than nothing. A vacuum and a hamper. What is this? We'll take it so we don't leave one little stick. We're gonna run next door and see what they've got too. You come too, brother. Let's go check and make sure this isn't metal. Uh, not metal. That's metal. This is aluminum actually. A little flat bar. All right. Let's go. This kid eluded me on the way in. <laughs> you little stinking rocker. This time, my friend. I bet these mumbo jumbos are heavy. What do you guys think? You know what? I didn't think they were going to be aluminum. These might be aluminum. Oh, please be aluminum. Because you are heavy too. Oosh. That's 
weird. It's like half and half. Light irony. <coughs> That's what we're going for, folks. Light irony. <coughs> These wheels are cast. <laughs> Onward. When the keys first came by, I couldn't tell her this was metal or wood. It's 100% metal and heavy too. It's a, it's a tile display rack. So, oh my gosh, you're super heavy. Design to hold tile samples. You would. Let's go. Ooh, plastic or metal. Oh. Metal. Possible extrusion. I really wanted to check this case. It doesn't look like a suitcase. It looks like a case. This looks like house to a bunch of ceiling fans. Where are they at? What's in the case? What's in the case? What's in the case? Mono lights. These aren't mono lights. It's a brand new Lego set though. And that and that. Ooh, a tool. Bermuda. Well, that's kind of fun, huh? Does that little spoon go to it? Spoon's busted, though. Who we got here? Oh, these are all sealed. We'll take them. You can go whack in the case. I know the case we should probably take. The case is pretty nice, but I'm not taking the case. I hope this saw works. That'd be pretty amazing, wouldn't it? I hope this lady's popular too. And not just some Yahoo. But look at this dude. This is featured in season one. This is probably a very rare Lego set. Look it up guys. Lego sets, where's your number at? 71753, Ninjago. Millions! New in box. Hello, pile of metal. Oh, I was hoping you were going to be aluminum. But you will not, but we'll still take you. Gladly. Ooh. Oh, gosh. We got a minute. Well, thank you. Get in my car. This is my non ferrous run. Oh no, this might be steel. <laughs> Let's say that. Like, non ferrous run. Steel. Ugh. This one's aluminum, though, I can tell you that right now. Finger. 
week two at this house. <laughs> Sleeping bags. What's up, Doge? He was here last week too. Uh, that's straight up garbage. We'll take you. We'll take you. No, no, no. you can't take. Oh, a bunch of paint. Hey, we'll take our guitars. Yeah, your metal tail. You, 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 and you. Uh-oh, I'm gonna drag you. All right, let's go. Get ourselves a twofer. Big old gaming chair, getting ready for summer. The kids is getting ready. The S racer. Someone had suggested that we race these in the scrapyard. That would be fun. We need to find two good chairs though to race. I think I could talk Jeff into that. I could find the right chairs. I think this tank has gas in it. Come on, free gas. Nope. I know they're worth a million dollars. I ain't taking them. I got like 20 of them at the house. People here do not buy them like they do in other states, I guess. Dunk, dunk. Humidifier or air conditioner? Timer, mode, cool, dry, fan. Let's go. <laughs> There's a mad dog in there. I guess we're just going to take this. CB23. number to this screen. <laughs> I'll take her. We'll take her. I don't care if she's all squished up. We're just gonna put you right here because I saw something down here that we're gonna pick up. We're gonna put her right on top of that anyways. And what was it that we saw? Why? It was a water heater. Hot water heater. Water heater. Depends on who you talk to. We're just gonna snug you in right here. Whew. Oh, they got to bits. Ah, that's okay. We'll take the weight, right? Come on, big boy pants. Ugh. system. Whoa, then lost my glove. Ode, ode, ode. I haven't seen one like this in a long time. Ugh, 
Come on, baby. Too far. Shoink. All right. Let's go. What do we have here? Looks like a bunch of sprinkler stuff. That's metal. That's metal. Are you guys wire? Wire hose. Wire it feels hosey. It feels hosey. They brought out another piece of metal though. Okie dokie. That's a bed. That's plastic. Ooh, gosh! Dishwasher connection hose. No, nope, and nope. And yeah! Nothing. You guys are probably aluminum. That's my guess. We're finding all kinds of non ferrous right now, aren't we? You guys get in there. You get in there. We get an umbrella. And then we gotta go visit our old. Oh, this might be metal too. Yep. You guys get in there. Back in there. Back in there. Fuck, I saw you. Shoink. What is this, anyways? You go right. Right yonder. Maybe we'll go to the other side. We gotta come over here anyways. Why? Because I've done seen a lamp. And I mean, I think I saw. I'm pretty sure I know I saw. A fan. You know where fans fancy or nacho stuff. So please take a moment. It took a long time today to get this fan. To smash that like button. Because that's what we do. Cup, a chic cupcake. That's a kind of a cute lamp, huh? I might save that. See if they want that first. Kind of cute. Let's go. Man, today's a good one. Today's a good one. Monday, madness. Look at these bed rails, dude. These are not in great shape, but they're gonna add some nice weight to the crowd. Before we put a bunch of weight on you. Just come right there. Hooey. Shwoo. She's empty. Guys, Ooh. I got a foot. Come on. Joint. All right. Tied down. I'll see you guys next out. Morning. Got ourselves another basketball hoop taken apart. How metal are you? Actually, you're very metal. Oh, this is gonna have battery in it too. That's metal and battery. I haven't come in because I've got flagged down. I've been flagged down by two different people today for batteries one guy gave me a battery the other guy gave me four I 
think this is like, this is a crazy, this is a crazy little bike. It's very metal. I've never seen one like this before. It's like a, almost like a go-kart. Ouch. Alrighty guys, we're at the yard. There are a handful of things we didn't come in for. You can see what kind of load we have. It was kind of the onesie twosie stuff. Nothing too exciting. So I just packed and loaded and got to the yard. It was a second load. We're gonna do the unload. I think we might, I don't know, we might fast forward the unload a little bit. Cause I think it's gonna take a while. We got a lot in here, man. We did well for that. So we'll see how long it takes. Depends on how tangled everything decides it wants to be. If it comes apart quickly, it might not be too bad. Uh, we have so many different chairs in here today. Like this one's just like that one, except for those ones are aluminum and this one's all steel. Ugh. you guys off my head. The yard's still pretty steep in here. So much stuff to break down too. Sure, ninety percent of this is steel. We're gonna check this out. It's not very magnetic now.
not lose this. And accidentally drag that into the pile would not be cool.
that's gonna be almost it guys I'll need to come back up. I'll get the motors, get the fan. We'll see you over at Jeffy's. Wow, that was not as painful as I thought. I don't know whether Jeff did this on, I know he did it on Friday, he told me it was done. But this is a motor here that's trying to get Jeff to let me, <laughs> I don't want to do it. But if you look at this, there's still copper in here. See how thick this copper is? Each one of these segments, there's, Jeffy said there was a 127 segments in here. Um, and each segment held about 26 pounds. So this motor worked out to about 35 plus 100 pounds of, of copper. And this is his baby brother right here. This is what it looked like beforehand. I'm guessing the sheathing on here is asbestos. Because he just said they tried to burn it once and it didn't do anything to it. But this is what it looked like, except for it was that big. 3,500 pounds of copper. Not a bad payday. Let's do some NFJ. You can do it. <laughs> yeah, it's not really designed for steel, I don't think. What are you What are you trying to do? What are you trying to get? Water hose. Just put a hole in it. Ah. Uh, you want? Would the regular clippers work for you? Or is it gonna crush it too much? Otherwise, I got a pair of clippers. I just didn't want to crush it. Oh. Ah, uh, the extension cord's gone. You got an extension cord? We can do a test and see if this works. Huh. Where's Jeffy's extension cord at? Let me see if he's got an extension cord. You got an extension cord? This, oh, yeah. I know, but this isn't long enough. Let me see if it's. Let me see if it works first. Let me see if she works first before we get an extension cord. Then. Yeah, she works. What you got? Poly profit, right? Yeah. Of course. Oh, nice. Yeah, that works. You want to try that? Just get. You just need to get an extension cord. That's awesome. Sure. Kangaroo, koala, platypus, yeah. two koalas. Yeah, that was cool, right? I love it, yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yeah, of course. Are they what? We're gonna be like, oh. um, you're gonna have a lot more this week because he's on vacation, right? Yeah, Kevin's gone. He's in Dallas, right? No, he's here, I think. I thought he was going to Dallas. No, I don't know if he's gone or not. Maybe he went. I don't know. All I know is he's not running. All I know is he's not running. All right, you ready for light? That's almost all we've got here. Come on, baby. Everything's stuck together. Pull that one out. Everything's
things get stuck together. There you go. Got it? Yeah. Come on, man. You said that, yeah. I've been. I. I don't find those very often. I find these kind of a lot. I don't find those that often. That'd be awesome. That'd be a great day. You didn't. You didn't film any of that. I bet, man. Talk about good content. Woo! Yeah. Just put it over there for now. Oh, I got some steel in here. Dang it. That's steel, right? Yeah. Is that going to be brass on the top of that? Apple, now? Looks like the only brass is that. Oh, watch out! Alright. It's yours then, I ain't, I ain't no, ain't no one got time for that. Really? I thought he came here once, didn't he? That bike can go too. That bike's light, right? Because it's got no wheels. Come on, dude. That's definitely all light, man. There's barely any steel on that at all. Hey, get off my wire, man. Get off my wire. Ugh. All right. Oh. What are you doing with that bike, dude? That doesn't go, that bike doesn't go. It's just steel. Okay. Alright, looks like all the light. It's all the light. I think the rest of it's gonna be clean now. I got four of these today. That's nice. Actually I got five today. You want me to turn this in like this or do I gotta take it off? Come on, Jeff. Work with me here. How about a two pound deduction and you'll take it?
Dude, you're horrible. Ooh. Is this stainless or is this aluminum? Feels kind of heavy. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of right on the cusp. Uh, one more. Ugh. I got one for you too. I got a Jeff joke for you. Oh, perfect. Hey, Jeff. Four legs and stand still. A chair. A table. A table. That's from a subscriber. Okay. Think Chris Lessig? Yes, I know him. All right, I got one for you. Yep. Hey, Jeff. Hey, back. Guy walks into the bar on Friday. He just wants to relax. He's sitting there, and this super attractive young woman walks in, and he just can't stop staring at her. Next thing he knows, she's walking up to him before he can look away. And she says to him, I'll do whatever you want for a hundred dollars. So the guy thinks for a second, takes out his wallet, counts out five twenties, lays it in her, in her hands. And she's like, there's one condition though. You have to ask for it in three words or less. So he thinks a little bit longer. And he looks at her and he says, paint my house. <laughs> That's a good deal. <laughs> That'd be a great deal, right? Uh, Are you doing any of these? What? Sure, why not? Want to do these two now? Sure. Are you up to five dollars yet or are you back at four? Four? You can have these ones then. Okay. <laughs> That was, what is this one? Still four? Come on, dude. I want five. Oh, we got a couple of motors. Yeah, I got a couple. No, no, we're going to. That one might be copper. We're going to look at that one first. Never mind. I changed my mind. What's that? Just a two quarters for a half. <laughs> that counts the first light. Cab gave me a. Uh, Stony Brook this morning. Yeah. He got me in. Nice. All right, I'll take it, man. All right, we'll see you tomorrow, man. All righty, guys, we're weighed and paid. Hooey! It's hot out today. Man, we crushed it. Thank you, Kevin. And for the, those of you who don't know who Kevin is, if you're new to the channel or, uh, new to me talking about Kevin. Kevin uh, is one of the other scrappers in the area. We do a lot of different work together. He's part of the Men in Black. Uh, between Kevin, Mike, and myself, our goal is to <clears throat> clear a million pounds of uh, trash, scrap, out of the Orlando area before the end of the year. And we're on pace. But uh, Kev took the week off, and so he said uh, he has an area, a gated community he works, and uh, I don't have access to it because it's really tough to get in. And so he uh, used his contact to get me in and said, do it this week. So that's what we did this morning. It was our first run. Uh, I don't know if, I'm probably not gonna include the yard just because I don't wanna have it be too long. And there wasn't anything too amazing as far as picker piles or anything like that. It was uh, just a, a lot of running. Um, so I'm probably not gonna include the drop off because you'll see the pickup when we pick it up. But uh, let's jump into the receipt. Uh, tin, this is the first uh, bit that we did um, in Kevin's neighborhood, we'll call it. Um, we did 1,380 pounds, seven cents a pound for 96.90 or 96.60. And we also had uh, 
the bike that we turned in later in the day and uh, the pool uh, heater, which, which we took the copper out of, and that'll be turned in whenever we do our next Don Ferris uh, Friday. Because um, I still need to do some cleaning up on it because we want to get the most out of our copper. Um, then we ran back in about and ran our normal area. Tim, 1180 pounds, seven cents a pound for 8260. Irony light um, was all of the light was the, um, what was the bulk of that? It was probably those chairs. Those two chairs were super heavy, super awkward. We had, I think a total of four chairs. We had some Swiffer handles. We had all kind of junk, 208 pounds, 28 cents a pound for 5824. Clean aluminum um, was the gutters, uh, 30 pounds, 40 cents a pound for 12 bucks. And then a half battery, which was the two quarter batteries, which came out of that like little go-kart thingamabobber. We just got a bunch of other batteries from uh, people flagging me down and said, hey, I got some batteries. One guy pulled over and said, hey, I've got a battery in the back of my truck. He was a lawn guy. Um, and so I just threw those in the truck and we still have all those. I'm still trying to decide whether I can find somebody or whether they're gonna to go to, to uh, the yard or not. But the yard's down to four, up four bucks on full size batteries. So I still might do the O'Reilly gig on that, even though there isn't really an immediate need, might still do that. But uh, the half battery for 275, for 275, for a grand total today of 252.19. And that does not count the batteries we've got in the back does not count um, the Lego set. I looked it up, I was kind of surprised. I thought it'd be worth more than that. It's worth about 50 bucks. Um, and we did forget to turn in a stainless steel sink. Um, we haven't taken apart uh, the air conditioner yet. We didn't turn in the copper coils. So today was an amazing day. Monday, madness. So uh, hope you enjoyed the run uh, of what I did include. Again, it was a lot of onesie twosies, just packing it, stacking it, and uh, moving on. Um, besides the one where we found the Legos, um, there really wasn't much picking still. I'm really kind of surprised, to be honest with you. Um, I figured we would start seeing more picking piles as we got into the spring and closer to summer. We just haven't found them yet. But uh, they'll come along. You, you watch when we least expect it. So, uh, hope you enjoyed today's run. If you did, make sure to smash that thumbs up. It's not show stuff, but that doesn't mean you can't take someone else's trash and turn it into cash. So, until tomorrow, be safe, be happy, and I'll see y'all then.